Jungwo, the Middle Kingdom. We are the center of commerce and culture in the middle of barbarians. For thousands of years, the fertile Yangtze and Yellow River valleys have fed, clothed, and nurtured us. Foreign caravans travel great distances to buy the beautiful things our ancestors taught us how to make, such as silk and carved jade. Do these jealous barbarians send spies to see inside our city walls? They envy our thriving markets. The elegance of our arts, the grandeur of our palaces. They are amazed by our many inventions and the knowledge of our scholars. Therefore, in this, the year of the tiger, the emperor has commanded we rebuild the great wall of 10,000 Li that our empire. For just as the dragon protects the Pearl of Wisdom, so must our Emperor guard against the barbarians who threaten the rise of the Middle Kingdom. All right, hello there, and welcome to a new game. I'm good. Well, <sighs> I always say new game. Uh, a game uh, that's new to me. Let's uh, let's let's say that. Okay. This is uh, as you have as you've seen. This is Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. I know little about this game. I know that it's a city building game uh, with strategy elements mixed in with it. So. I was always kind of curious about this game. I remember it being for sale, being on sale, uh, for sale rather, at uh, you know the local video game stores. Uh, I never picked it up though. Um, this game was, as you may have seen, developed by uh, well, I'm not sure if it was developed or just published by Sierra, which of course is a company that made lots of PC games back in the day. Uh, the game, I believe, originally came out in 2002. Um, then, um, yeah, 2002, that was a... Early 2000s were really good years for uh, PC gaming, let me tell you. So, yeah. As I mentioned, I know little about this game, but, you know, Figured, you know, why not try it? I read some reviews for it. People saying, you know, they have lots of nostalgia with this game. And, you know, saying that it was really good. It's uh, similar to that of uh, Caesar. The Caesar series games. Which is, they're basically uh, city building games. Uh, you know, in the in the Roman, time, Roman times. You know, the uh, Golden Age, I believe. Or maybe the Iron Age, I'm not sure. But, um. Let's, uh, go ahead and. Hmm. Choose a historical name. Hmm, some of these names I recognize. Dongjur, I recognize. Liu Bang, I recognize. Ma Yuan, I recognize. Zhang Qian, or Zhang Qian, or whatever. 
however you pronounce these names, I'm not a speaker of Chinese, so I'm just gonna pick this one just because. And my zodiac animal, uh, I'm not sure. Does it matter? Go the dragon because I like dragons. We'll go with that, and uh, we'll go with the historical campaign. Why not? The Xia Dynasty. Begin your journey into ancient China here. With these simple tutorial missions, it is here in the time of the prehistoric Xia Dynasty that our people first learned to work the land for sustenance and shelter. To prevent stumbles later, travel now down to down the path to Xia. Listen closely and learn all that our venerated ancestors have to teach us. Let's do it. I said, let's do it. Welcome to ancient China, home to the world's oldest continuous civilization. You are about to travel back in time over four thousand years, for it was then, along the fertile banks of the Wei River, that several families banded together, discarded their nomads' cloaks, and established a small settlement. As village elder, it is your duty to plan the layout of this new settlement. You will be called upon to provide your people with food and water, as well as a means to slake their spiritual thirst. Okay. 150 people in plain cottage or better. Okay. Hmm. The first thing that you will need to do is designate where your villagers' houses will be. There is already a road loop which makes an ideal spot to build near. Press the population button, select common housing. Place about 10 to 12 common housing plots around the inside and outside of the top part of the road loop. Okay. Uh, population, population, population. This is population. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, it's it's in real time. Okay, and here they come. Here come the people. Tell you what, these graphics look pretty darn good for uh, this uh, two and a half D style. We used to call it back back in uh, the early two thousands. Two and a half D. Watch out for the pheasant. I don't know, these, these people look a bit more advanced than uh, uh, 4,000 years ago, you know what I mean? Look up slightly more advanced, but hey, you know, it's a video game. Historical accuracy isn't, um, well, you know what I mean, right? Is there any way to speed the game up? Like game speed? Probably not. Any basic shelters dug into the dirt there? seems one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we'll build another one build two more Okay, so this tutorial is just... 
Housing for 30 more people. I think that should be enough. Right? Okay, so simple enough, I guess. Uh, not convoluted or anything. Um, I, I wish there was a... Uh, if there was a speed option, that would be nice. But hey, you know? Then you can't appreciate, you know? You can't appreciate the game, I guess, that way. And we have more people coming in. You are invited to every celebration. Cool. And here comes the last bit of the people arriving. So that's good. I'm about to fiddle around with the uh, resolution here. Bit small. A few goals. Uh, I'll do that uh, off screen, I guess. Fiddle with the resolution because sometimes, uh, whilst recording, I have the uh, misfortune of actually, like, if I'll change the resolution sometimes and then. The game will stop recording because, uh, you know, reasons, I guess. Software, what are you gonna do? There are plenty of opportunities for honorable labor in this city. The Chen family. Is that so? I'm glad you think so. These are all... These are all about full up, aren't they? Might have to build one more. Yeah, let's just build some more. So where are my goals again? Where can I see my goals? Goals. Some ill fortune has visited us. A fire is broken out in the city. Hopefully our inspectors can put out the blaze before it spread. Spreads. Review goals. 150 uh, people in Plain Cottage. Better. Okay. So 
So we need a way to upgrade these uh, these buildings. Oh, okay. The upgrade uh, by themselves, I guess. See what that's animated really well. I like how that's animated. Okay. Well, that sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? What else should I build? Shops? Maybe a temple? Ancestral shrine? Let's just build more houses. Put a hunter's tent there, I guess. In the outskirts of town, why not? You know. Is there any way to get rid of this? Text pending? I guess maybe you need, like... The young town now boasts a population of 100 people. Sweet. Okay, that's interesting. I like the way you build the, uh, I like the way you build the market. That's nice. Is that so? I say. What else can I build? about it really can't build roads it's strange Oh, you can. You can place roads. Oh, wait a minute. Build road. Oh, fuck. What did I do?
What did I do? Oh my god. I just fucked it up. I fucked everything up. Okay, there we go. Whew. I was worried there for a second. This will make another inspector's tower. Warehouse, you say? Why would they let me build that if I can't build a warehouse? <laughs> All right. I need bland food. Okay. Okay. There, now he's moving. And like I said, the, the game is animated very well. I like how it's animated. The tax official has not, vis has not visited the home. I can't build anything with tax officials, so I suppose that's later on. I suppose. Maybe if I make some more uh, hunters thingies. Okay, so th they're up there. If I build uh, another, and there's there's game up here as well, isn't there? Yeah, there is. I hear a fire. Is that a fire? No. Can I build a bridge across here? No. Okay, that was a bad idea building that tent there. Because they're just going to walk all the way around anyway.
A wild pheasant appears. What are all these people coming in? Plain cottage, alright. I assume it's because we have the food that we need, yeah. Squeeze a lot of people in these houses, I can see that. Fucking hell. Okay. Sweet. Well done. You have successfully built a small village and fed them well on meat provided by the hunters. It is easy to see that you learn quickly. Press the proceed button to continue on to the next mission where your people will learn how to coax seedlings from the fertile land. Okay. Sweet. Welcome back to the village of Banpol. Several generations have passed and the village that your people founded along the banks of the Wei River has prospered. There is a renewed sense of excitement in the town today. Word has just arrived of a nutritious new food source, millet. As a highly respected village elder, you are needed to plan the establishment of farms where millet can be grown to supplement the diet. Hemp farms can also be built. The fibers from the hemp plant have many uses, not the least of which is for durable garments. Okay. Okay, um, the village elder, you have to notice the hunters are st still bringing in a fresh pheasant and delivering it to the village mill, which is busy processing it into the food shop for the market square. Meanwhile, in the village, the water carrier, inspector peddler, and diviner are still making their rounds. Things are going well, but your people are tiring of their bland, unbalanced diet. Their dependence on a soul food source is almost over, however, for Soon, farmers will be growing millet, a hearty and healthy grain with many uses. Okay. Okay, down, down on the farm. Okay. Before placing your farm, you should study the terrain and locate the best places to plant. Thick, luscious grass is a good indicator of high fertility. Barren, rocky ground is best avoided. Don't expect much yield from crops planted on barren land with thin or no grass. Okay. Let's plant some crops with the agriculture button still selected. Okay. Um, let's do that first, I guess. Where's our thick grass at? This looks like thick grass. So I guess we'll go down here. I Can I? There's a river. Oh, there we are. Um... Farm, farm, farm. Crops, millet. Okay. And then, uh, we'll build a hemp hemp farm over here and uh, build some hemp fields like so sweet alright I'm going to end the episode here though 
And uh, next time, we're going to, uh, I guess, explore all of the new buildings that we can build. And, uh, yeah. See you guys next time.